welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Alexedra, and I'm here with Matt, also known as The Collector. Today, we are going to go over guns that are familiar in Call of Duty. So if you're not familiar with my channel, I was Mara in Call of Duty. I play Call of Duty every single night, so there's gonna be a lot of Call of Duty stuff today. <laughs> How many times I say Call of Duty within like a 30 second? Yeah, like Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Call of Duty, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so let's get started. <laughs> be very overwhelming, but I mean, just starting off, I guess the first thing I see is the freaking Tommy gun. Like this thing is super badass, so iconic. Obviously, I feel like this is in every single badass gangster movie, but every single Call of Duty too. How much does this run? <laughs> I'm trying to remember, I bought that so long ago. Cause it came with stick mags and everything else. I wanna say 1300? Oh, that's not too bad. No. But if it was full auto, oh, or like crazy money. At least money. like 15 grand, probably, probably. minimum. Maybe 15, 25. Yeah, that's a lot. Um, I actually shot this full auto, and I thought this was going to be really, really fast shooting gun. Come to find out, it was probably one of the slowest machine guns, most boring, anticlimactic gun that I shot. But it looks really cool and it's iconic, so. Oh my god, and it's also really heavy. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we have. Um, we got the CZ Scorpion Evo. I actually have one of these, my personal collection, and I specifically bought it for Call of Duty. This was probably my go-to for Black Ops 2. I don't have an optic on mine. How much did you buy this for? I don't remember. I don't remember either. That's what I don't I'm either. Trouble. I don't think it was that much. I'll say 800, I was thinking, I was thinking, Six, like probably 800. That's got a fun trigger in it. Really? It's got binary in it. No. Oh, you got me beat. It's pretty fast shooting for what it is. That's not right either. <laughs> I gotta remember how You're I'm- good. Okay, let's see what else. Oh, we got a P90 up there. I'm too short to reach it, otherwise I'd pull it down for y'all to see a little bit closer. I got one of those as well. I think uh, it shoots 5.7. Like 1100, 1200 ballpark, maybe. That's probably the weirdest gun to shoot to, just based off how the mag. I don't like reloading that yeah, mag. Yeah, I'm either. with you. Right. It's really, really strange, but it looks really cool. What else we got? <sighs> oh yeah, we have uh, the Vector. So at the very top, Call of Duty calls it the Fennec, which I know is the meta right now. That is a Chris Vector. It shoots like nine, 10 millimeter and 45, Correct. I think. Unfortunately, I got mine in white, so you're way ahead of me getting it in black. Yeah, I, that was, I bought that a long time ago. I think that's one of the first guns I bought for the collection, actually. Yeah, I, I love them, but don't get it in white. It's I can't keep it clean to save my life, <laughs> but uh, definitely one of the fastest shooting SMGs that I've ever shot. Super, super fast. Um, so Call of Duty's accurate on that department. Cost-wise, maybe it's around like 1800 before taxes. So I guess around 16 to 1800, depending on the caliber or whatever the market's doing. But definitely the fastest shooting SMG if it's in full auto. So the MP40 is not really in Call of Duty anymore. I mean, it's a solid World War II gun. I think that was like what I use mostly. I think that was the meta at the time before Modern Warfare 2 released. If it was full auto and running, I have no idea what that would cost. 30s. 30 grand. You think? You're probably right. Oh God, that's ridiculous. Yeah. Obviously, one of the most iconic guns probably in all video games, but Call of Duty, AK. For 600 sure. bucks, so 800 bucks. Really? That cheap? I want to say that. Oh, mine was um my first and only AK is Tactical Edge, and those okay. were, which yeah. I don't even know how much they are now, considering you, can't, you can't get them anymore. So, so with these ones. Oh, here's a gold one, Matt. Oh, yeah. the gold AK? Like 1800. I would totally buy a gold AK. So we have a camo version of this. So instead of, you know, running a whole bunch of different stupid, like you don't have to shoot this to unlock this in gold, you can actually just go buy it for 1800 bucks. <laughs> you unlocked all the challenges. Yeah, <laughs> all of them. <laughs> for $1,800, it's like buying COD points, pay to play. <laughs> And then I recognize that at the very top is a Dragunov. What caliber is that? 762 by 54. Okay. And how much is that? Is it three? That sounds about right. Three? Yeah. Three? Very badass. Hmm. You said this was in the game too, right? A, there's a bolt that like it, but I think it's a 50. That's not a 50. God help us if it is. Yeah, I can't remember the name of the 50 that's in it, but right, there is a right. 50 in it, which cool. I need to buy yet. There's a Tabor. I forgot what it's called in the game. It doesn't matter right. what it's I called in the game. The Everyone game. knows, I know, I, I think it's for like copyright. Yeah, but you think they'd want the- You would think, you would think, but anyway. It's interesting to shoot if you've ever shot a bolt pup. You got an AUG at the very top, definitely one of the most iconic, probably rifles that throughout Counter-Strike or any first person shooter in general, but- That's a fun gun to shoot. It, it, they're, they're definitely fun, but with my muscle memory, I'm so used to the AR-15 platform. So we are doing- Oh. Yeah, just sure. through your armpit. Sure. <laughs> 2,500 for 
It depends if it's 308, I think 556. The green one's 308. Right. Okay. Mine's in, yeah, so mine's in 556, five, but I don't remember what I paid for it. <laughs> an AUG. I have an AUG also. I actually just got it Cerakoted, um, black mold decam, it looks super sick, but I don't remember what I paid for it. So the price of AUG is? 2000 ish. Wow. Ballpark. Same with Tavor. Tavor. 22, yeah. maybe 23. Yeah. Maybe 25. On the caliber. Yeah. For sure. Let's see what else we have in here. We got some some launchers. I'm sure all you new tubers out there know exactly what those are. Yeah. How much does it cost to add a Maybe launcher? Six bucks. That's not bad. No. I don't have one, but yeah, it's like six hundred bucks. Okay, very cool. Yeah. We have a really cool skin here that's not in Call of Duty, but I feel like it should be the stripper. Yes. For sure. <laughs> yeah, F1 firearms always goes out. Yes. Wait, you have a demolition ranch? Yep. Like I'm skin, like how'd you? What is that? He from? had a deal going. He made one. And I thought it was cool, so I liked the Camelot, so I bought it. Right Camelot serial number it was. Oh yeah, because you're obviously I mean, a collector, you want like to have serial numbers. Yeah, right. Like the lower the serial. number, the better. Yeah, for sure. Right, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, one of the most iconic in Call of Duty, even today, the meta is the MP5, which is oh freaking awesome. Um, HK, unfortunately, is probably one of the most expensive. I feel like in the firearm industry, you have to us pours here don't have very many of them. I have an MP5, but it's chambered in 22. They it's actually fun though. And it's fun. One. I have that one. It's fun to shoot. Yeah. And it's cheaper to shoot. Yeah. But um, how much that one cost, man? In nine? How much is it? Well, I paid five for that one. But that's you five K. Five K. Paid five grand for that. I paid five grand for that. That I do know. I'd say a little bit less. I'd say three. Four. Three. Three. three four. Three, three, three would be four. pretty low. Yeah. Yeah. What is it's that? Twenty six. Right. No, twenty three. Mark I have the real. That's what I Mark 12 is with the bright fly I have at home. I mean, Mark 23. That is an iconic pistol. Yeah, the cool thing is the real iconic one. I have the other one. It's right over there. It came with the laser, came with the suppressor, oh, came with everything. Matching number. I've been waiting for paperwork. When I was a kid, Badass guy. that was like the pistol I was obsessed with. It's like a Desert Eagle. Right. It's totally like a Desert Eagle. All right, Doof Doof. Lots of Doof Doofs. That's a Doof Doof. You got some Doof Doofs here, Doof Doof there, Doof Doof everywhere. Oh, Sposs. Yeah. Sposs. That's, that's a freaking that's iconic. iconic. Yeah. That's why How I much is that it. going for right now? I think I paid three or four thousand. Totally worth it. Yeah. And Doof Doofs, maybe like, I guess depending on maybe m &P. They're all over the place. Right, I guess it depends on the brand. So I've been introduced to some brand new technology to me that helps me with training by Mantis. This is the Blackbeard X. Basically, just replace your BCG and your magazine, and it's easy as that. One of my favorite features about the Blackbeard X is that it resets a trigger for you in between each trigger pull, so you don't have to. So it connects to the app on your phone through Bluetooth. There is a button that you can see right here. It's lit up blue, which means it's connecting to my phone. So I can run different drills, and it also tracks your performance. A feature that I love about this is I don't have to guess and constantly clear to make sure that I'm being safe when dry firing. So Mantis takes out the safety feature because I have a different mag. The BCG has been totally replaced, so it makes it 100% safe. This gun is not going to go off when you dry fire. So we all know that we have to dry fire, unfortunately, to be proficient in firearm shooting. However, thanks to Mantis, it makes it a little less painful. So check them out and click on the link below. Obviously, we can't passing through the most iconic sniper rifle throughout Call of Duty. The intervention. I don't even want to know how much this costs. With with optic? Yeah, with, like what's the whole? If you compare the two, it's around fifty thousand dollars. Oh my god, that's insane. Yeah. And this is serial number one as well. Yeah. And I think this is also in the movie Shooter too as well, right? Similar. Yeah, well, same one, but just different right, camera. Right. Yep. Also, this Call of Duty has 6.5 cream more, so this is what that would look like in real life and cost about 14, 15,000. Jesus, dude. I'm adding the optic in there too, though. Right. Because the optics are around right, 5,000. Like, yeah. You obviously don't want to go cheap on your optics. No, I go with the same optic. Mm -hmm. You want to go like the same, if not, or not more on your class. Sure. Most iconic Scar H, in case you didn't know, Scar Light is it chambered in 223. And this is 308. How you know you're New at Call of Duty is when you run the SCAR. <laughs> <laughs> She's right. Now I have the SCAR 20S, so you remember when you that? I don't have, I, I feel like I should have started. What's 3,000? Or 2,500 is what I want to say. Does that sound right? I feel like it would be more. I thought it was more too. Because the SCAR 20S was like 6,000. Huh, really? Yeah. When, at the time, when we when I was looking up the cost. Right. Evan sent it to me, so I don't know how much it is now. <laughs> 
You don't put that down here. <laughs> I want to say it was like 3,000 bucks. Really? Yes. What I bought. Okay. The market. We have no idea what the market's doing, but you know, like we'll say like four on the high end. Yeah. Four on the high end. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. About four grand. Let's see what else we have. If I'm missing, if I'm going over something that looks really freaking fast and important, I'm just right not as familiar with bolt actions, obviously, as you are any of these freaking ridiculous guns, because this is just, this is all new to me. This one, I think, was in the game, the SR-25. This is the Bikes Tactical. Oh, okay. Mark, if memory serves me right. So that'd be expensive. How much is this? This is the Spikes? I don't have my glasses. <laughs> no. I'm old. Stoner. Huh? No, I'm right here. The stoner. Is that Stoner? Yeah. Were you high? <laughs> It's very possible. <laughs> yeah. Nice armament, right? Yeah. Okay, nice armament. Okay. That's what it is. <laughs> but it's the SR25, so 308, that's the real deal. The cost on that was with the scope, I think it was 8,000, 9,000. No. Mercy. Well, sorry. Well. Hi, caramba. We got some smokes. Use those <laughs> all the time. How much do these go a piece? <laughs> Shit, you're testing me now. I don't know. I, 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 find them, I find them bulk. These just look really, they look more tactical and badass than, right. I'm using like airsoft smokes, you know, the little, yeah. well, they last minutes, like a yeah. couple minutes. minutes. What else can we talk about? So this is a, what, B&T? 308. 308, okay. Factory can is not approved yet. I have the factory suppressor. Oh. But I'm waiting. Are you waiting? It's paperwork jail. Okay. So how much is? 13,000. With, with, with the optic? With the optic. Okay. Right on. I mean, we can't walk past your little chainsaw saw. attachment you have down here. <laughs> and it's perfect because it goes on the 249. Saw and a saw. So right? extra. A saw and a saw. A saw and a saw. Always, and that's the only reason I bought the saw was to put it on the saw. That was the only reason. I played with it. It works. I think I paid 400 bucks for it. Oh. Three, 400 now bucks. Now I gotta go get one. Now yeah. I have to have one. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? That's Benelli M4. That's in the game. Gee, what the freaking optic you got on there? Trigicon. Very expensive. But that's a badass gun in Call of Duty for sure. Was that a 12 gauge? Yes. Nice. That's a fun gun to shoot. Yeah, that's the one that you probably feels like a sniper rifle when you get hit with one of those in Call of Duty. Possibly. You're like, what the hell was that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, possibly. I mean, this isn't in Call of Duty, but I feel like it should be. we need to talk about this. I think it, I think it needs to be. Yeah, it for should. Sure. I would just run around with this on my shoulder. Just yeah. Like, <laughs> If you shoot one of those ones you win, you can place it someplace and use it. Wait, is this taking a Glock mag? Yeah. Interesting. You need to get one of these. How much were they? Uh, I think 4,000. That's it? Three, 4,000. Like with, with this everything. or with the whole thing? Yeah. So yeah. how does that work? It's just a standard. Right, but it was, was that not considered? Not considered class three or anything. Cause it's, Cause it's like a real gun, but right. we just cranking it. Thank you for that. Just don't put a drill on it, then you got problems. Okay, true. But no, I mean, I got a guy. Oh, if wow. you need help, get new one. I just might. Yeah. As I'm going through all these, I'm like, oh, well, I need to get that, I need to get that. And you're like, oh, well, this is only this much, and that cha you know, chainsaw is only this much for, and it just. I'll help you spend your money. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> we got an RPD here. I know RPK is like the meta Russia makes really badass guns, obviously. This one's not in full auto, but. How much was this? I think it was 3400. Oh, see, that's not bad at all. Dude, I'm literally like in my head, I'm calculating like what I can buy when but I get back like home. You don't I don't, I hate linking ammo. I can't do it. I, well, I can, I'm just too lazy. It's literally not fun. Yeah. It, my fingers hurt yeah. after a yeah, while. Yeah, you gotta use that thumb of yours and it's not gonna work. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> we can talk about <laughs> this gun in Call of Duty, it's the Bacillus. I absolutely hate this gun. Um, it shoots slow. It hurts. It does one shot, one kill. What caliber is this? 500. 500. 500. Yeah, You're this will look, I have. It's been a very long time and it's, it's the wrist breaker. How much was this? Not too much, right? I think it was like 800, 600. Okay, yeah, that's not too bad. Um, all right, so moving on to the Desert Eagle. Um, he has a way prettier, more upgraded version. <laughs> Not only do you have a gold AK, but gold Desert Eagle. Gold Desert Eagle. And He's done a lot of challenges, you know? Yeah, all of them. Yeah. And uh, see, so you have fingerprints on it. Sucks. It really <laughs> sucks. Yeah, I have one at home, and anytime like someone touches it, I'm like, yeah. no. See, now if I saw your gold desert, I would just walk up and just put one fingerprint and just yeah. walk away. Right. Well, here you go. I'm a yeah, because I think it sucks. It sucks. <laughs> 
I have the gold one. I don't have this one. How much does this one compare to oh, shit. the decked out? Matter, 1200. And then that was like 4,000, I think, right? Yeah. For, yeah. Gold. Right. Yeah. And last but not least, the iconic Barrett 50 BMG. Um, I think this is called the Signal in Call of Duty, and I call it the Milkshake Gun because it sounds like the beginning of that song, Khaleesi, My Milkshake Brings All the Boys to the Yard when you shoot it. Now uh, I three rounds. That. Now I gotta hear that yeah. because I've never. Do you know the song? Yeah, I know the song, but I've never. I have a TikTok of me doing it, and it literally sounds. You can't unhear it when you hear something. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. I know that. Part, so, but I'm trying to think of the 50 cow, how it sounds like it. Just, just, uh... I know, <laughs> what's that guy? It's so on point though. La, 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 la. Eight, 10,000? Uh, yeah, I think I paid eight to 10, but it came with the optics, so I think it was 10. Ah, uh, see, I have a, we got Night Force on there. Yep. I put a um, Voodoo, Utex Voodoo on mine, but. Do you see a rhythm here? This is like, Wall. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, I have a small guy, big gun issue. Compensating? Yes, maybe. No? No. no. <laughs> um, yes, no. <laughs> no, no, no. We'll say yes. Yeah. Okay. I like this one much more comfortable. I have not shot this yet. These suck shooting. Oh. I shot um, Styers uh, 50. I don't know what Styers um, name of it. Is that this one? It's a oh, Okay. Yeah, I was like, Right. Yeah, it's a star arm. Okay, so I shot this one and it was it was okay. I just prefer Barrett. Yeah. You ever shot one of these? No. Don't. I don't even know what that is, to be honest. You pull the bolt, like a, pull the bolt out, it's one shot 50. I was like, this doesn't even look like a complete build, so up. I wasn't Pick gonna. No, oh, Christ! <laughs> what is this, like freaking yeah. 35, 40 pounds? I feel like it's way more than that. Well, I mean, it, it probably would be if it had, it just doesn't look like it's complete. It's, yeah. Looks like someone made a potato gun from my yeah, backyard. I'm never gonna shoot it. Uh -huh. This is something I'd make well, Chad do. or Johnny shoot it. I'm gonna make them do it. <laughs> Cause that'd be one of those ones that are in the frame and they're out of the frame because there's right. all, the, all the recoil and all that shit. Right. Uh, yeah, that would uh, be very shitty to shoot, I feel like. It'd be yeah. funny for me to watch. Yes. So I will watch it. And that's a wrap for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And thank you, Matt, for showing me around. Check out his channel, The Collector. He takes out everything here. And this is just very, very a little teensy weensy bit of all the crazy stuff that he has. So yeah, yeah, he's yeah. helping me spend my money. Yes. And so now Anytime. I have some shopping to do when I get home. Yep. I can send you tons of links. Oh, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>